Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Butterman, and this is the CDOCS tip of the day. I'd like to talk about Katana STML. Uh, this is really a unique block because we have the advantage of all of the strength with zirconia, plus we have the aesthetics of a translucent block and a multi-layer translucent block. With the introduction of the prime mill, we also have the advantage of super fast milling this block. So that can take this restoration processing time and make it very, very quickly when we can super fast mill this in about four and a half minutes and then center it in the speed fire in approximately 18 minutes. So a couple things to keep in mind with this block. If you do want to super fast mill it, then you have to use a size 12Z block. A 14Z or 14L block will not be able to be super fast milled. Now you can certainly fast mill those. We need to make sure that we are also putting the enlargement factor in properly. Basically what this information is telling the, uh, the uh, prime mill or the MCXL, should you choose to use that, is it's going to take your design and it's going to enlarge it by a very specific uh, amount. That uh, means that the restoration is going to be milled larger so that it can compensate once it goes into the speed fire, it's going to shrink to exactly the correct size and the dimension will be absolutely perfect. But it is important that we enter that code properly because that is the enlargement factor. A couple ways to do it. You can certainly uh, enter this manually. You can use the camera feature of the prime mill or you can use the wand. Um, this is new with the blocks that are coming out now there is a QR code on this, and the QR code is something that we'll be able to scan with the camera feature of the prime mill. So if we go over to the prime mill when we want to enter this, we can either manually put in that enlargement factor. Now it's important to note that this is always seven characters. If for some reason your block only has six characters, then the seventh character is a space. So just by hitting the space bar, that'll allow that to be accepted. And again, the other option is simply to take the block and you can scan the QR code on the camera feature for the prime mill so this prevents the need for actually inputting any numbers at all. I hope this information was helpful and if you would like to see more please visit us at cdocs.com or if you'd like to learn more about Katana please go to www.katanablocks.us.